5,000 miles of road trips in 2020. Who's coming along with me? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Casey and today we're talking about my plans for this channel for 2020. There is a lot going on. I have a lot of stuff planned already and I want to give you guys a little insight on what to expect in the upcoming year's uploads. If you do enjoy this video or any of my other videos, do leave a like. I really do appreciate it and it really helps the channel get noticed and other my videos suggested to other viewers and it lets me share my experience with more people and that is why I made this channel. So what's going on in 2020? Well, we already kicked off the year with our first vlog of the year last week. Check it out, up in the corner, we took the Jeep out, found some snow, Maddie was along with me and we went sledding, we had a great time. And I just, it's been a while since I shot a vlog and it's been a while since I shot a vlog with Maddie and we had a lot of fun and I wanna do more of that in 2020, which is why we have all of the road trips planned for you guys and me uh, with the Jeep. So. What are we doing this year? Well, it's going to be a crazy year. I think I was looking at Google Maps and it's like over 5,000 miles of road trips, not including my flight to the first event, which is going to be Jeep Beach in April. Now, if you're unfamiliar, Jeep Beach is a huge Jeep and off-road enthusiast gathering in Daytona, Florida, and it takes place in late April. Now, I'm heading down to Florida to go to Disney World with the family, and we just happened to schedule it while Jeep Beach is taking place. So I'm gonna take one of those days to pop over to Daytona Beach and Daytona International Speedway and check out the event, check out some rigs, see what it's all about, because I keep hearing about it and how awesome it is, so I really want to take a look at it. So Jeep Beach has been going on since 2012. It's raised like over a million dollars for charities. Yeah, so I thought it would be a great event to go check out and vlog and show you guys and check out some rigs. And that's basically gonna kick off my 2020 series of trips. So right after Jeep Beach, we'll be coming back to Vancouver Island and taking the Jeep to our first off-road event of the year. Now that's Jeep Palooza. I was I've been at Jeep Palooza for the last few years. There, I'll put a link up in the corner to last year's vlogs. It's a local off-road event put on the put on by the Jeep Palooza Association of BC and the Four Wheel Drive Association of BC, and they're raising money for the BC Cancer Foundation. And last year they raised over thirty-six thousand dollars, and they put on the event is awesome. It's a lot of fun. There's hundreds of jeeps there. People are camping, and we do we go out off-roading during the day, and then we come back and there's silent auctions and there's barbecues and there's just so much going on. And we're gonna be going to that May long weekend here, so it's late May. And then after that event, in June, a few weeks, only a few weeks later, I'm going to be heading down to Oregon to go to Jeep Jamboree in Tillamook Forest. I was at this Jamboree last year and I had such a great time that I wanted to go again. And so the Tillamook Forest is just west on the coast of, um, of Oregon, it's just west of Portland. And I'm gonna be going down there for three days and the off-road event is two days and uh, it's just a beautiful place. The Tillamook Forest has some just stunning views. Hopefully it's a little bit less rainy than it was last year, but either way, I'm sure it will be a lot of fun. Um, the Jeep Jamborees are really well organized events. They provide breakfast, a paper bag lunch. They provide dinner in the hall afterwards. They take a look at everybody's rig and decide just how capable it is. And they ask you how much experience you have driving. And so there's there's trails and runs from everybody with a bone stock Jeep to uh, with no experience off-roading to very capable rigs with a lot of experience driving them. And so they have a lot of different runs that are tailored to all types of Jeeps and driver capability. And it is just a lot of fun. So I really wanted to go to that event and I enjoyed it so much that I actually signed up for another Jeep Jamboree right after that in July. Uh, so I'm gonna come back to Vancouver Island and a few weeks later, we're gonna turn around and go to Idaho and we're going to go to the Jeep Jamboree in Silver Valley, which apparently is a just stunning location to hold a Jeep Jamboree. And I guess the location that it's in is an old mining town of some sort. We're gonna be getting there a day early and going on a tour of some of the local sites, which is led apparently by the mayor uh, which will be really cool. And then we're gonna do two days of off-roading. And so that will be a great adventure to bring you guys along with. We'll check out some awesome scenery, maybe get to do some rig walk-arounds, and it'll just be a great road trip and some great vlogs for the channel. When we get back a few weeks later, right at the end of July, we're gonna be going on another road trip. Now, this is the only road trip where I'm not taking the Jeep. Well, I guess 
flying to Florida doesn't count either. But we're actually going to be taking the Corvette. This will probably be the only vlog of the year that doesn't feature the Jeep and we'll be taking the vet. But we're gonna be going up to the Okanagan Dream Rally, which is a huge charity event, which raises a ton of money for the Ronald McDonald House and the KGH Foundation. Uh, they've raised well over a million dollars for uh, their charities. Yeah, we're gonna bring the Corvette. So basically what the rally is, is it starts in Kelowna. The drivers register, we get there, and uh, everybody gets a co-pilot, which are kids that wanna have an experience in a sports car or an exotic car or a supercar or a Corvette. Um, yeah, no, the Corvette's awesome, I love it. But uh, it's a great event, it's put on for charity, it supports kids in the area, and we drive down to a couple hours south to uh, a Soyuz, I believe it is, and then back up. And so it's a great day with a lot of fun. I'm gonna be heading up there. Uh, my wife is coming with me and it's going to be a great cruise. Lots of great scenery and exploring some of our province, which I'll be able to, you know, I wanna show off more of this area to you guys on the channel, even though we won't have the Jeep. Uh, vlogs are about going and exploring and road trips and checking things out and seeing things that we haven't seen before. I know it's not off-roading guys. It's the one vlog probably of the entire year that we won't have the Jeep but I will make it fun, I promise. Then when we get back to the, <laughs> we're coming back to the island, living on an island can be quite uh, cumbersome sometimes, and back to the island, and then we're gonna be heading back out again. And in the middle of August, we're gonna be taking the entire family and the Jeep, where we are going to be staying at a cabin for a week, and I'm hoping to get some off-roading, or at the very least, we're gonna explore some of the local area, and if I can meet up with some locals with Jeeps, maybe they can take us out and do some off-roading. I'm still working out some of the details, but we're definitely going on that road trip. And that kind of concludes the really compact series of road trips. But then the last one I wanna do in 2020 is get down to Las Vegas to go to SEMA in November. I wanted to go to SEMA for such a long time, and I think this might be the year to do it. And if we bring the Jeep, we can do some off-roading on the way down, maybe some off-roading in Las Vegas or around Las Vegas and then maybe some off-roading on the way back up. We'll have to see, but that one hasn't been completely solidified as far as a plan goes, but I do have it marked in my calendar, and I'm gonna do my best to get to SEMA because as much as I enjoyed reviewing products and whatnot this year, it was all done off looking at other videos, Instagram and forum posts, and I'd really like to get there to check things out firsthand to give you guys my impressions and thoughts and let you know what I think of new innovative products that are coming out in 2020 for our off-road vehicles. So that is my schedule for 2020, but there's one other thing that I really wanna to try to achieve this year, and this is gonna be a huge one, and that is get a new Jeep. I wanna start a new Jeep build. Now, I've been talking about this for a little while. There's a major reason why I haven't purchased one yet, and that is because the Jeep I wanna go with is the Eco Diesel, And they're just starting to arrive down in the United States now, but I live in Canada and we can't even order one yet. I've talked to several dealer dealerships, none of them have any information on ordering, pricing, delivery times, whether I can actually customize one or just get assigned one. It's really kind of a funny thing that's going on and I'm not really sure why, but uh, some dealerships have said I might be able to order one in the next few weeks, and then it could take up to eight to 12 weeks to actually have it arrive. And that is really putting it down to almost no time before uh, Jeep uh, Palooza starts in May, and I definitely have to modify it before I take it. So I'm hoping that works out. My plan B, I don't know, I have two options. I could either go with a 3.6 liter JL, and maybe I can look at supercharging it with the new RIP supercharger that's just coming out, or maybe I can go with a Gladiator, but the Gladiators just really aren't suited well for the trails here on the island or around my area, which are fairly tight, and having that long wheelbase may be more challenging, also they're more expensive. Uh, but I really wanted to check out the Eco Diesel. I wanna review it, I wanna talk about it, and let you guys know what my experiences are with it. I wanna look at what the mods are for the diesel, as well the extra torque, the 442 pound-feet of torque, if I remember correctly, will be great for road trips because one of the big things that I find is tiring and frustrating when I'm out on road trips is the lack of torque and horsepower with my large tires and heavy Jeep. So I think the diesel really will solve and help a lot of that. Um, as well, it will be fun for off-roading. So that's what I'm thinking, I'm hoping. Maybe I'll give you guys some news on that very soon. Um, but anyways, that's the calendar. We're gonna be going to those events, whether we take the JK, a new JL, a Gladiator, who knows. Something's going on some road trips this year. There is a lot in store for the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss this crazy year that I have planned. 
I would love to bring you guys along with me on all of them and show you guys as much as I can of the uh, world of Jeeps, of Jeep parts, and everything to do with off-road. All right, that's enough for this video. Don't forget, new videos every week, and I'll see you guys in the next upload.